Evening. Before you watch this video, I think I need to put a trigger warning in, which is what you have to do these days. Um, I don't even remember Harry Enfield's character, Kevin the Teenager, who suddenly turns into this horrible person on a rear when it's 13. Well, I'm turning 60, I fully embraced my inner Victor Meldrew. And uh, <laughs> my opinions count, <laughs> that's all that matters. Um, so, it's if you live in the land of wokeness, then you're not going to like this. But it's just my opinions at the end, and if you don't agree, you don't agree. It's, it's free will, isn't it? So, uh, basically, it's just more of me drunkenness. So, uh, you know what to expect. It's just that I get a bit carried away at the end. <laughs> but anyway, let's just get on with it. By the way, you like the garden? Babies are singing, the world is wonderful. Right, get on with it. You know that phrase, stating the bleeding obvious? St George's Hall, that way. Oh look, I didn't see that there. Let me go over here. Couldn't get a bigger sign. Empire Theatre. Oh look, I didn't see that there. Honest. There we go. In for the play goes wrong. My seat's down there in the middle. I nearly can get a ticket again. But I'll do that story later on. And I'm sweating buckets. I've got to be more organised. Getting on mark, you can't be doing this. So, let's go on with this show. Well, I was going to go to another bar, but I'm old, so I didn't bother. Uh, I'm going to go home now to the hotel. Well, I'll get comfy with my wine, and you know what'll happen there, and whatever. Uh, it's new little friend. Ah, ah. Alan Ruby. I hated this statue when it first got put in because I was actually old enough to remember it going in. Tommy Steele did it, and there's bits of the echo and all kinds of stuff in it. But I love it, it's just part of Liverpool now. And it's, Elder Rigby is probably my favourite Beatles song anyway. And I don't do press the songs really, but it's just a classic bit of Liverpool. And Morris Sounds, I staggered out to Jody's down there in the Stanley Street, plunked my ass on there, off my face, or having a row, or being a fucking tram. <gasps> Drama Queen. That's part of my history now, and part of the history of Liverpool, and I'm not even back at the hotel, I'm already waffling. This is going to be a fun month for you all, isn't it? ta Good evening. I'm going to wing this bit now, because I don't know which I'm adding on to, from the proper stuff to the night stuff. It's only half past twelve, and I'm back here again. Now... Here we go. If you remember when I went to do Dream Girls last time, I had a right mess up with the tickets and fart around and all that. And that was no different. I <laughs> tried to be organised and I went up early to get the tickets and she processed everything because she got me a really good seat. The last one of the cheap price, cheapest price, not the cheap one. And um, she put my card on. <laughs> no. Try that again. No. So I had to go right down to the little pool to get into my account, transfer money over, and then leg it back up to the theatre again. <laughs> Pay for the bloody thing. Approved. Hey, here we go again. I cut the lips of the screen and cu cuddled that woman. And she was brilliant. Her name was Carrie, by the way. And she was American. And she was proper American service. And it was brilliant. It was like, you know, you have a nice day. I really want to do this for you. Oh, yeah, okay. And it was just... So I'm trip advising that one tomorrow. Um, so I got into the show and where my seat was, was in the middle of loads of people and there was other empty seats so I just snuck in there and it was great. <laughs> I thought I wrote to myself and uh, I snuck a couple of drinks in as, as well as you can tell and uh, that show was fabulous. I loved it on the telly but to see it live and you just go oh, you can't do that you can't do it. I just get Building and building and building, and it was brilliant. And nobody laughing, and everybody else around is laughing. It just builds on you. It. 
<laughs> he was. And he even started the show before they started the show. You know what I mean? Because the show starts at half past seven. But he had this like interaction stuff going on. And you know, what's that? What's that? What's that? And it was really good. And um I highly recommend it. We've got to critic now again, Mark. Uh the play that goes wrong. It's brilliant. <laughs> And last time I was in Cardiff, I missed it by one day. I would have gone to watch it then, but no, obviously I missed it by one day. There's an early bit of this when I say state in the office, you've just done it yourself, Mark, so whatever. Uh, and this was the thing. Uh, last time I was in Liverpool and I went to the theatre, and there's a bit of me staggering back, and I found a glass of wine, and then another glass of wine. I've got two free glasses of wine, and guess what happened tonight? <laughs> in the interval, these two women came down. They had a few, and they said, "We look after these four as well. We go outside and have a stingy." Yeah, fine, of course, Phil. And they didn't come back. So I had them. Well, I'm having them now. Uh, I was going to have bread, but there's no shops closed. No shops closed. No shops are open now, so that will do me. And I got work in the morning. I've got literally got to go up in the morning, and get on train, and go straight to work. It's going to be fun, to be warned. Um, I think that's it, actually. Oh, yeah, of course, obviously, went to town. Here we go. I went to town, went to Racers Bar, which is a 90s bar, apparently. Didn't recognise any tune you played. But they do really good cocktails, two for six quid. And they always go over there and get them, so I can set me up for going into that lot. And um, I went to a new bar and it was me and two Spanish people. Uh, the poor lad was trying to do his best, but it, it wasn't work. Um, and then I went back to that boulevard place again. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. I put a video on it. I don't know. I've done a video, but I'm not going to put it in this one. So here we go. Wrap it down. Really. And... Um, I asked for a record and he actually played it and didn't talk to it, so I actually got to have a dance. And uh, where's me? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh. Mm. Give me a sec. <laughs> this kept making me laugh all night because cause you know right, everybody pays by credit card these days. And so I've been trying to keep up with the young people. And every time I hope you follow us up to get my credit card out, the first thing that I could see was this. <laughs> my old Cacker's Rail card. <laughs> All these young people around me, and I'm like, I'll have a cheap drink on students' night with my old Cacker's Rail card. I saved £7 today on my rail trip. So, it's not a benefit to being old. There. Um, one of them's come back to your own cellar half past twelve at night. <sighs> but I'm set. I'm what's up? Here we go. The video thing is that in the club, and I'm sorry, but when I was 18, 19, 20, going out to open it, we were out dancing and looking fab and being great and just having fun. This lot now. <laughs> Paul or great here again, isn't it? This lot now, they're all so camp and over the top and it's just unreal. I mean, why would you, I'm sorry, if you're a gay bloke, why would you want a queen when you, the whole point is being men and it just drives me fucking crackers. And it's just over the top campness and nail varnish and it's... No! Stop it! I'm drinking my house of fucking. Ooh, sorry, I saw a pint glass. That's being a bloke. You finished now, Mark? Look out. It's got a little bit of step toe there, doesn't it? Mm. I'm sorry, I just. It's old school now, but. I just don't get it. He's sounds are not good, Mark. Because <laughs> he gets 
<laughs> it just annoys me. So I'm just shut up and go to bed. Not going to bed, I'm going to finish that wine off. I'm just, it's just, I hope you all understand where I'm coming from on this. It's, it's, I can't even put a weird sentence together. Oh, think of something funny to say, Mark. I don't know, copy. Um, yeah, we're back in Derby, half past 12. All the young people outside have been camp and been fabulous and to not I'm here in your room lonely. I don't care. <laughs> I've been there, I've done that, and I was better than any of you lot away, and you all owe it to me and the people who were with me at that time. So go and <laughs>